The Edmonton Elks are short favorites over the Calgary Stampeders when the teams play the second half of their annual Labor Day doubleheader on Saturday night. The Elks stomped the Stampeders 35-20 last week as McLeod Bethel-Thompson set a new career high with almost 500 passing yards, leading Dave Dickinson to call his team's performance, quote, embarrassing. JC, can Calgary bounce back, or will the Elks win a fifth game of their last six? Well, before I say my selection, I need to admit fault for last week because I said the Elks were going to win if they played Trey Ford and if they played McLeod Bethel Thompson, they were going to lose. Clearly, I was dead wrong, as wrong as you could possibly be in your selection. So I want to give kudos to McLeod Bethel Thompson for what may have been the best quarterbacking performance of the year, the way he played in that game. Truly sensational. And I think he gets it done again. I just don't think the Stampeders are a team that has the mustard to fight back against adversity. I think they tend to roll over. I don't think their roster is well constructed. I don't trust Jake Mayer as a quarterback to come and perform consistently. I think the Elks are surging. They have the confidence. They have the belief in themselves right now. And that's something the Stampeders have not had all season long, and they still don't have. Take the Elks by a bunch. I'm with you, JC. The Calgary Stampeders coming off an 18-game break, right? Coming off a bye into the Labor Day Classic, their most important regular season game of the year. The biggest crowd they've had at McMahon Stadium all season were awful, right? We're awful. And you have to give credit to the Elks, right? Two teams, takes two teams to, to tango, as they say. But I thought that the Stampeders looked flat. They were making mental errors. Jake Mayer had maybe his worst performance as a CFL quarterback, I don't know what the opposite of finding holes is in a defense, but that's exactly what he did. Double coverage, he found it. It was a terrible performance. Now, I don't want to completely write Jake Mayer off. I think there's a chance that he bounces back here. But if I'm the Calgary Stampeders, I am not wading through another poor performance from him. I am going to another option if Jake Mayer starts slowly. I do think that could give the Stamps some new life. I do think that they could get some some fresh air in that building if a guy like Logan Bonner takes over. That being said, starting a guy like Logan Bonner or getting him into the game means you're probably going to get at least one rookie mistake out of him. So I like the Edmonton Elks here. I like the Edmonton Elks' ability to get pressure with just four defensive linemen. I love the physicality from their linebackers, their receiving core. I love their offensive line, grounding and pounding things along the line of scrimmage. I'm happy to take the Elks here. The Elks, by the way, JC, we talked about it on our full podcast earlier this week with Justin Dunk, could be a potential playoff team. And the more that I look at these matchups that are upcoming strength of schedule, the more I genuinely like their potential opportunity to make the postseason. On that note, we thank you as always for listening to the Three Down Nation podcast. For J.C. Abbott, I'm John Hodge. Enjoy the games this week, folks. And remember, if you're going to watch nine hours of football on Saturday, try to get a workout in in the morning. Drink something other than beer at some point, please. And uh, enjoy it. It should be a fun one.